Installing plugins is easy, but it's necessary that you set the system up correctly before you begin. Step one being to download via the net 10 DIL files. If you have any problem at all finding these, you can contact Ara via her site, Ara's Images, and she will email them to you. Now I've downloaded mine, unzipped them here, 10 of them. And before you install these into your system at all, just make sure that they're not already in the folders that I'm going to show you now. Um, for my Windows 7 32-bit, I have to install all 10 into Windows System folder and also Windows System 32 folder. For those of you running the 64-bit systems, just one copy and paste into Windows System S WOW 64 folder. Now I've been told that it's best for you running the 64-bit to copy these files individually into your Systems S WOW 64 folder. Once that's done, our next thing is to make sure that we have a plugins folder set up ready to install plugins into. Now I always use my documents folder, my PSP files for my plugins. Uh, some of you who have recently installed uh, Coral Paint Shop Pro will discover in your documents folder that it automatically installs a folder for you named Coral Paint Shop Pro. The thing that they didn't do was put a plugins folder there. So just click New Folder, Plugins, and you're ready to begin installing. One more step. You need to let PSP know whereabouts your plugins are going to be installed. So click on File, come down to Preferences and File Locations. Click Plugins. Now I already had mine added so I'll just remove that and I'll show you how I did that. You simply click Add, browse to your, we'll say your newly installed plugins folder, My Documents, Coral Paint Shop Pro 16 and down to and highlight plugins. Click OK and there you see it's added, that's all there is to it. Now you're all set up and ready to begin installing plugins into Paint Shop Pro. When you're going to install any plugin into Paint Shop Pro, close the program first. Now to my downloads. Just back. Now earlier I downloaded F Formula to show you, honey. 8BF. Most of our file extensions for our plugins are 8BF. So I shall. Now this you can unzip them directly into your plugin folder. Uh, you can go to edit and copy into the folder and paste it into the folder or edit and move to folder. I'm just going to move it to my documents folder and I'll pop it into the Coral Paint Shop Pro folder. 16, browse down to plugins and move. That's done. Now we have to once again open Paint Shop Pro. Now back to our effects and down to and find our F formula honeycomb. And there it is. You can change the size of the honeycomb. I like it a little smaller, so set it about like so, and there we are. Um, effects oh, with plugins are limitless. I'll just add an extra one here glass, frosted glass, and there, look at that. Now, while I'm here earlier, I had downloaded another plugin uh, that I was going to use, and I'll just show you um, Willie. Unzip it. 
and the file extension on Willy is double FX. Now, as I said earlier, most of our file extensions are 8BF. So, even though I had put that into my plugins folder, when I went looking for it, I couldn't find it anywhere. So, this is one of the times when we use our Filters Unlimited, which is a plugin everyone must have on their computer. Filters Unlimited is, is great for temperamental plugins. Quite often, when ones that won't work directly in PSP, import them into Filters Unlimited and they'll work. So, import, and I will browse to. documents and go to my files where I had installed it and to my plugins folder find Willy highlight the top one hold down the shift key highlight the bottom one and open and now in filters unlimited we have Willy some neat little effects in there but mostly I just wanted to show you how to import filters into Filters Unlimited. We have unlimited possibilities with all of the wonderful plugins that you can install onto your computer and enjoy.